How's it going people? So today we're going to take a look at a TOEFL speaking task one question. This is a random question that occasionally shows up. It's good to be familiar with it. And this kind of question kind of falls under the umbrella of like government questions or questions related to society, laws, uh, controversial questions, controversial topics in that area. So the more of these types you practice, the better you'll be come exam day. So let's take a look at this. Do you agree? Obviously, it's a agree, disagree question. That animals and humans should enjoy, basically, they should have, you know, similar rights. Okay, so with the first one, I have a disagree and I have an agree version too. This is a tough one just to give, you know, you guys lots of ideas here. So with the disagree one, I said basically, hey, you know, we're, we're really different than them. Okay, we're very different. And if you want to write very in a short way, you could actually put V diff a little faster. So here I mentioned um, when it comes to humans, you know, we, you know, they just in general depend on instincts and intellect, logic, right? Whereas with animals, well, they just depend on their instincts, okay? Uh, they act on that. Uh, they're driven by that, okay? They're motivated by their nature, uh, their biology. So when we look at the response, this will help you come up with something like this. Well, I definitely disagree that what animals and humans should enjoy similar rights because they're very different from each other. So this is a one reason, a one example attack. Like modern humans are driven by both instinct and intellect, whereas I'm using whereas to show the difference here. Animals only act on their instincts or nature. You know, so you know, it's like a exemplifying what's going on. It's kind of like, for example, you know, people just don't act on biological urges, but they're also able to think logically and have a strong sense of self-awareness. So, and here I have an if sentence. If there are new laws introduced in society, most people are capable of obeying them, like they follow them, right? And are aware of all the consequences involved in violating rules and regulations. So rules and regulations, just paraphrasing the law, you know, try to paraphrase anytime you can. But animals are not capable of reasoning. Now, if you didn't want to use but twice, this is absolutely fine. You can have a little bit of repetition here. You could even sw swap this out for however, if you did want to use a different, you know, transition marker here, a contrast marker. However, animals are not capable of reasoning. And this are not you can even make it more advanced. It's a little harder for most of you to pronounce and change it to aren't if you want to contract it. Animals aren't capable of reasoning. They lack this ability and therefore it wouldn't make any sense for them to have similar rights to us. Okay, but what if we agree that they should enjoy, they should possess similar rights to we? Okay, so, well, I definitely agree that. So obviously you have A for agree. That animals and humans should enjoy similar rights because why your only reason animals are living things just like we are so here i'm trying to make basically an emotional argument so for those of you who are hardcore animal lovers or animal rights activists you know you might want to come up with a response that's related to sentiment okay that's shared sentiment they're similar to us in that they need food water and air to survive there we go so this is one reason that really supports what we want to say. You know, they live kind of in a similar way um, as we do. More importantly, now, if you add more importantly, it's kind of like adding also, you're adding a new reason. But when you use more importantly, you're trying to stress that whatever you're about to say here is more important than the preceding information you mentioned, you know, a moment ago earlier. More importantly, they share the, what is they? Obviously, animals. We're paraphrasing. Share the ability to suffer in the same way that we do. There we go. That word suffer here is money. It's huge. So it's one thing to say they have similar needs to us. That's true, right? But if you stress on the point that they suffer, if you really concentrate on their feelings, um, you can really drive the point home. Like if you beat a cat or a dog, so here we're using specific animals, topic vocabulary, it's related to animals, right? It will make noises most of the time. Now, advanced tip, 
You could change its will to it'll. This is really hard. It's a little tricky. That T will have like a soft D sound. You want to practice it a couple times. It'll, it'll, it'll until you get used to it. And it'll make noises most of the time, indicating pain and suffering. There. We reflect on those negative feelings. They can also sense love and pleasure just like we do. So again, um, since I made like a statements or an argument related to their feelings in a negative way like the pain and suffering like if you beat them right clearly don't do that <laughs> um i also kind of use an opposite attack by saying that hey while they're capable of you know feeling uh pain and suffering they could also experience love and pleasure and joy and these positive emotions as well so we're ethically and morally now you don't have to have both these words just have one of them right obligated so we must follow this uh obligated to take their feelings and needs into account and by this point you would be done okay so hope you guys really um got a kick out of this please like share and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys pretty soon